All right, y'all, so this is part two. So this is what's happening, right? Go back to part one to catch up. But with this trustworthy guidance that's coming out, so whatever you prayed about, you're already receiving the answer to that prayer, okay? So you got to listen to your intuition with this because your idea is literally trustworthy and you can safely move forward with it. Here, go for it. Like they're telling you, go for it. So whatever that idea is, um, your angelic guides are with you every step of the way, okay? So, but you got to be open to receive the help that's coming in. So let me see, what is this idea? What is this trustworthy guidance that has come in from my collective? The Fool card in the Muse of Inspiration. You can see it. And then the muse of inspiration, which is this way. So you're being told to move forward, to literally go into this new beginning. Okay, you got infinite um, ideas that are coming to you. Yeah, I know it may have seemed tough, right? You had to really climb this ladder to get to where you need to be. But as you continue to move forward, the universe literally is going to catch you. So you won't fail. Okay, so you are being guided to move forward. Something may be telling you it's time for you to move forward. So go, go ahead, like move forward. That's all I keep hearing. Go, go, goddamn it. All right, so um, let me read the fool from the book because the muse usually has like a little different interpretation, but it's about your new journey. And it says, she hums a tune she used to know, and with baited wishes, she leaps into an abyss of stars and possibilities. Thoughts eager, heart racing, hopes high, a million bits of color stardust dust rise up to meet her, and she greets myth and opportunity as she tumbles forward. She sees her future here in this beautiful swirl of light and potential. What are you searching for? Asks the muse. Something brave, she whispers. Something new. For the br briefest of moments, she feels unprepared, naive, unsure, foolish. She asks it herself, are you ready for this? Can you take this journey? And the muse wants her to remember that she is and she can. She wants her to believe in her magic. You hear that, right? So the divine wants you to believe in your magic, wants you to believe that you can, that you are prepared, all right, for this new journey. Even if it doesn't feel like it, even if you're feeling like you're walking into the unknown, you have to trust this process. And it says, as you leap, you'll learn deeper into trusting, okay? Now, it says, your new path is beginning. It's unfolding. Leave nothing to do but begin. So now you're being asked to just fearlessly jump. And that's what your guidance is telling you to do, okay? It may seem foolish to do it, but no, the universe has a major plan for you. So let's see what the muse of inspiration is talking about. Muse of material. Come on, inspiration. <laughs> Here we go. So this card talks about inspirational success, an inspired leader, a visionary, right? Thinking big. And bam, this is why they're telling you to go for it. It says, expect to be initiated in ways you cannot yet imagine. Fully captivated by ideas and propelled by enthusiastic ambition. This muse offers fire to brand the edges of your experience, embracing excitement to ignite the wisdom in your heart. She asks you to enlist the help of others along the way, and she shares her power to turn to ashes that wish have been anchoring you. Remember that your warm cocoon of confidence and determination will light up your heart with belief and inspiration. Okay, so yeah, your vision and accume will be your guide, but it's time to find purposeful success and take inspired action as you fall in love with your goals. So this is a time right now where you should be falling in love with your goals. You should be inspired and that you should continue to move forward on this journey and just take this leap. Go for it because your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. And so you're getting these divinely guided ideas for you to do it. And you're also, what I'm hearing is being told to have a strategy to achieve your goals, okay? To write about the direction you actually want to go in and, de and then begin to take action. So if you are the feminine of my collective, this is what I'm hearing. 
go forward, take action, have a strategy, write about that direction. And that's going to release you from whatever the constraints and obstacles are and whoever this masculine energy who, who's coming in, who doesn't have a clear plan, then they'll begin to be able to come to uh, pull together some type of um, change in direction is how I'm hearing it. Okay. Or potential change in course that they need to take. Okay. Um, because again, remember, it's like they aren't sure which, which direction or how to take action on this situation, but it's going to require you to keep aligning with your soul is how I'm hearing it. Okay. And it says here, your angels have been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and they continue to watch over you and everyone involved. All you need to do is to stay present on this path as it's going to take you very far indeed. Okay. Wow. So continue to stay confident and determined um, and inspired. Even though you can't see what's up ahead, just trust that your guides are with you because they have been working with you since the Genesis 555 of this situation. Okay. Ooh. Reward yourself. All right. So you've been through a lot. You've been giving a lot of yourself to everyone and it's time for you to receive. So just make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving essentially, um, uh, what to say? Oh, the balance of giving and receiving is essential to keep your energy, your mood, your motivation, in con on a consistently high level. Even here with the giving and receiving card, it's like the same energy coming through. Okay, so it has to go both ways. Period. Even when you when you're thinking about the flow of the universe, um, you got to give in order to receive. So you give back to humanity, humanity by serving right by doing something for others some of you may need to get near the water the ocean comes out so if you live in, or you may live near an ocean okay a deep blue sea because this speaks to your soul it's healing to your soul so get out there all right um spend some time physically near some water and if you can't do that then you might want to take a bath um spiritual bath 707 on my timer if you got a state park near you that has a river go okay just get near some water um family plays a major role in your story your situation is rooted in family okay um hmm. so basically this is an emotional experience that you're having with a family member which your angels can help you to understand and heal. So in your mind, in your heart, surround this person, yourself, and experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gift with the situation and allow yourself to feel the peace, okay? So some of you may have small children or some of you may be um, having an emotional experience with a child is how I'm hearing it, okay? Um, entrepreneur, so boom, this came out a couple of days in a reading. You should really be focusing on self-employment for some of you. This suits you well, okay? This is the way to go. This right here, you're getting a lot of divinely guided ideas in regards to that, and that is going to help you to expand, okay, in all ways. You're, it, what I'm hearing is that you're ensured success if you take on this path, innocence. So remember that everyone is guiltless in truth and um yeah no one can also god's handiwork okay i want to pull um tarot on this so with somebody here so let's see tell me about this innocence two of wands in the upright position so what i'm seeing here is that as you continue to plan for your future and you make some progress here you know, and you're stepping out of your comfort zone. I know that situation may have failed, okay? Um, or you may feel like it failed or whatever plans that you have may have failed with this person. It definitely feels like uh, it could be a romantic connection or something like that that just didn't go the way that you were anticipating, right? But I'm hearing that it's going to take time and it takes patience, okay? So consider what you actually want and what you want to do here. Stay resilient, okay, with the nine of wands coming out. Nine of Wands came out in a reverse position, right? Even if this person is being stubborn or defensive, you know, don't give up, okay? It may feel like it's an ongoing battle, but you got goals, okay? And you have to be persistent. 
about achieving those goals with the queen of pentacles coming out all right because here you are all of that you're healthy balanced you're generous you're nurturing um and you are also by this person's side so stay resilient all right so i will holla at y'all later